Hi there. If you are meeting me for the first time, I'd like to introduce myself first. My name is Vivian and I'm the founder of The Fulfilled Women. Can I just tell you, I'm so excited that you have clicked that bell button and decided to watch this video. Because in this short video, in our short time together, I will be sharing with you two of the most important lessons that I've learned in the years of pursuing my dreams. And in those years that I was pursuing my dreams, I was featured in a TV show, I had guested in a couple of radio shows, and I have um, represented the Philippines in different summits and conferences. But more than that, I have helped a lot of women go from confusion to clarity and finally arriving in the destination of their dreams. Do you want to be one of them? Okay, I want to hear you say yes. I know I'm, I'm not going to hear that, but I do, wanna, I do want you to say yes. I am ready. Say that. I am ready. <laughs> All right. So the first one is be mentored. Well, I cannot stress enough how important it is to be mentored, to have a coach and have a mentor. Even the best athletes in the world in the world, even the president, the athletes have coaches, the president have an advisor, and across all industries, you know that people who are on top, they have been coached, they have been mentored. And it's so important to, to tap into someone else's expertise and guidance so that you can accelerate your success. I remember um, one time, many years ago, Lea Salonga was being interviewed and who doesn't know Lea Salonga? And he was asked, and she was asked, um, so how come that at your age, you are still able to hit high notes? I mean, how can you do that? And without batting an eyelash, Lea Salonga said, oh, I have a voice coach. And I was just stunned. And even the one that was interviewing her was really surprised by her answer, was really blown away. Because, I mean, Lea Salonga is an international artist and she's not just famous in the Philippines, she's famous all over the world. And I mean, who doesn't know her? But even if she's there on top already, she's she's on top of her, of her game already, she still has a coach. And that's the same with us too. And most especially if you are just starting in in your business or if you are just starting with your freelance career or you're just starting your passion project, don't you think that you have to be coached? I gotta be honest with you. I spent thousands of pesos learning from a mentor, learning from a coach. I have spent hundreds of hours being coached because I know that it's so important. In fact, I'm being coached right now. I, a coach is helping me to remove the invisible barriers that I have in my life so that I can accelerate my success and just I can just move forward and be fearless. So that's what my coach is working on me right now. Now, this is what I always tell my students, my audience, when I when I have a talk, I have a seminar, or I have a webinar. Our time together is going to be useless if you're just gonna sit down there and just listen to me. I know that's nice <laughs> because it's going to be added information for you. And for sure, during the time of quarantine, you might have had a lot of webinars already. You might have attended a lot of on online, um, online webinars or courses. You've taken different online courses already. And you might, even have information overload. But what's more important than information is this, transformation. So today, I want you to have transformation. More than all the things that I'm sharing with you, I want your life to change. And that's more important. So how are we going to do that? In order to have transformation, in order for you to move from information to transformation, you've got to take action, okay? So will you do that? Will you do that so that you can have a transformed life? Now, here's my suggestion for you. Think about some people that are, um, that are very famous in your industry, that are, um, that are on top of their game in your industry, maybe influencers or speakers or authors, 
people in your industry, I want you to tail them around, follow them. If they have a podcast, if they have a YouTube channel, if they have a Facebook page, follow them and just soak in their knowledge and allow yourself to learn and be a student. And if you can, you might want to get a coach so that you can have more clarity in the direction of your dreams. Are you ready for number two? <laughs> the second one is this. Proximity is power. Say that again, please. Proximity is power. Now, this is what I've learned from my very first mentor in my 20s. I'm obviously not in my 20s anymore. <laughs> so anyway, he is a multimillionaire and he is helping a lot of people become millionaires as well in, in real estate. So that's his expertise, that his area, his area of expertise. So one day he asked me, so Vivian, tell me your five closest friends. And I'm going to tell you what you're going to be in five years. Now, he went on to explain that exactly what I told you, that proximity is power. That you, if you are constantly in communication with people who are always negative, always complaining about the government, complaining about traffic, people who, are, who love gossiping, your friends who has nothing to say but negativity, guess what's going to happen to you in the next five years? You probably would still be complaining about the government and you would still be probably complaining about how hard your life is. Now imagine this. What if you are in proximity with ambitious and driven and go-getter women? Don't you think that you're going to have a more positive life? Most likely, you're going to end up just like them, pursuing their dreams, not giving up, persevering, and just going after and chasing their dreams. Now, I want to ask you to do a little bit of audit. And I told you, right, that transformation is what I want for you to have. So you would have to do this exercise for me. I would like for you to get a pen and a paper and write down five of the closest people that you have in your life right now and be honest with yourself. Are they lifting you up or are they putting you down? Are they giving you a distraction for your dreams or are they inspiring you to be a better person? If I may suggest, and if you see that in your, um, in your list, these people aren't exactly uplifting you, then maybe it's about time that you find more people to, to help you, to be uplifting you in your journey to your dreams. Here's a very practical suggestion for you. I know that for some of us, maybe we're just home and we can't go out. So what you can do is to find communities that can help you grow. And one of them is our community, the Fulfilled Women community. If you are on Facebook, which I think you are because you were able to see this video, well, I would like for you to search for our group, the Fulfilled Women community, Faith and Dreams. You're going to find a lot of ambitious women who's going to help you, who's going to inspire you, who's not going to complain about how hard life is, but will be supporting you in your dreams. I hope that you can join us in this movement of encouraging each other to pursue each other's dreams. And lastly, I would like to invite you to like our page, The Fulfilled Women. So there you have it. Number one, be mentored. Number two, be in proximity with ambitious and driven women. I hope that helped. Thank you.